Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Um, just to share a quick thought. I was watching a movie the other night. And in this movie, this boy had a father who loved him dearly. But the father was trying to toughen him up and make a man out of him. So there were times when it seemed as if his father was never quite satisfied with the boy's efforts, even though the boy would do his best at times. It seemed like there was always something the father had to add to help the boy strive for perfection and excellence in his life. And the boy didn't take that as a father making a man out of him. The boy read into it that Pops was never happy with him, that Pops was not a happy camper with what he ended up with as a son. That wasn't the case at all. So I say this to say that. I say that to say this. Yeah, anyway. Uh, when you find yourself getting overly sensitive about what your parents are saying about you or the, the critiquing that they tend to do, don't look so much for them to reaffirm you. Know in your, in your soul, in your gut, that you gave your best. And understand that some people don't have the ability to communicate love, affection, approval, or even complimentary terms. They don't always have, sometimes they weren't even raised with that. So they don't, they're not trained on on uh, abundance of encouragement and edification. They don't get that. So they only understand, well, you critique it and it gets better, which is not always the case. So my friend used to always tell me, get the truth out of it. Even if it's, it's thrown into a, gar a garbage can and it's mixed with garbage, get the truth out of it. It's like seeing a priceless diamond in a pile of of old junk you know office trash and you see the sparkle coming through you reach down you get the sparkle and you see it's a diamond you keep the diamond and leave the trash in the trash you don't own the trash you don't internalize you don't eat that trash you leave it in the trash bin so there are times when your parents compliments or more like a pile of trash with maybe one little nugget of a diamond or a ruby. And you get the good part out. You leave the rest of that alone. Because the rest of that comes from their own brokenness and their own fallacies. Don't internalize that and take it personally. You hear me? Pop says, you did a really good job on that. But why did you leave that undone? You, you have to remember, when you do this, you have to go all the way. You never leave a job under. And it's like, okay, well, no matter what I do, it's never good enough. No, they gave you your compliment. Take that bad boy. Leave that other part alone. Just take that as a learning tool, not a criticism that says that reflects on this job. While they're complimenting this, they notice that. But that does not mean it takes away from this. You can throw milk on a diamond baby, but it does not negate the amount of sparkle and brilliance that's in it. Once you rinse that baby off and wipe it and polish it up, and that's what you do with your compliments. You wipe that, polish it up, you, you gloat on that compliment. And you wipe that other mess away. And you enjoy the sparkle and the dazzle. That's what you enjoy. Don't dwell on the stuff that hurts your feelings. Don't dwell on the stuff that, that, that dampers the beauty of what you've got. If you get a compliment and a criticism, use the compliment, baby. Keep that. And let the criticism be a tool for the future for you to improve on in other matters. But you, you, you nurture that compliment. You hear me? And you find yourself not being so hurt when you realize not everybody is gifted to compliment and leave the compliment a compliment without mixing nonsense up in it. 
Don't let your feelings get hurt so easily. Everybody doesn't know how to express their love. They really don't. I don't care if they have a genius IQ. They may be totally retarded in terms of expressing love. Even though they love, they may not know how to let you know. They may not know how to communicate their love for you. You hear me? All right. God bless you.